यार अबे यार कितनी जोर से सुनेगा यहाँ तक आवाज आ रही है अबे तू तो नहीं समझेगा यार इसी से तो फील आती है अच्छा फील चाहिए तुझे खैर छोड़ अच्छा सुन ये खा के देख ये ले ओ नो ये क्या दे दिया अबे क्या हो गया ये क्या है इतना स्पाइसी ये फील के चक्कर में तेरे कान भी यही एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं रोज अब पता चला तुझे अबे ठीक है भाई सब समझ गया पानी तो ला दे प्लीज प्लीज यार भाई अच्छा अच्छा ठीक है लेके आता हूँ In today's day and age, ears are one of the most abused sense organs, and we often tend to take them for granted. As a result, ear problems are on the rise. Not only this, if you often suffer from stiffness in the neck, jaws, headaches, nervous disorders, weak bones, or you find it difficult to balance your body, you need to start taking care of your ears. In this video, we will run through the worst and the best daily habits and some easy and highly effective practices that. That will keep your ears and related organs healthy for long. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends welcome to Fit Tuber. Let us first understand why ear health is important. As commonly believed ears are not isolated organs only for hearing. They are closely connected to the brain, neck, sinuses, mouth and bones. There are various signs that suggest so. Ringing, buzzing or roaring in the ears after hearing a loud noise suggests weak hearing power. Stiffness in the neck, jaws, poor oral health, trouble in speaking, incapability to balance balance the body dizziness when trying to stand on one leg headache due to noise no deficiency yet weak bones nervous disorders drainage of fluid irritation to loud noises is your body's way of saying take care of your ears according to who one in four people is projected to have hearing problems by 2050 and the major cause is exposure to loud noises it could be due to listening to loud music or working in a noisy environment but how does does noise cause hearing loss the ear is made up of three parts that work together to process sounds the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear the inner ear contains tiny hair cells these hair cells help send sound messages to the brain loud noise can damage these hair cells over time as more and more hair cells get damaged hearing capability gets worse and worse apart from loud noise excessive use of earphones long phone conversations regular use of cotton swabs uncaringly poking fingers and rubbing the ears stress smoking and alcohol they all lead to the problems of the ear certainly we can take measures to protect the ears whenever you receive a phone call in private use loudspeaker mode for long phone conversations use ear plugs and keep the volume at not more than 60% of the maximum in fact we should accustom ourselves to hearing at low volumes if your work nature is such that you have to work in a noisy environment you should always keep ear plugs handy with yourself easily available at any chemist shop this pocket friendly device is a boon for the ears simply roll plug it in and work peacefully ears are a self cleaning organ there is no need to be paranoid about cleaning the ear wax every now and then in fact ear wax is extremely important for not only lubrication of the ears but also it protects the ears from various problems so you using cotton swabs on daily basis is a strict no no there are other safe ways to clean the excessive wax ayurveda considers the ears to be a primary vata organ which is closely related to the bone tissue layer and nervous tissue layer ayurveda provides an easy practice for ear care that literally takes a few seconds to complete and is helpful in curbing most disorders of the ear ear oiling this practice is recommended in ayurvedic scriptures to such an extent that if a person does not have enough time for body massage he or 
she should at least oil the three body parts the head the inside of the ears and the soles of the feet certainly there are levels to it depending on individual needs level 1 if you are currently facing no problems with the ear and would like to keep them that way for long you should just do this every morning after taking bath first gently clean dry your ear with a cotton cloth then using your index finger gently apply a little pure cold pressed oil in each of your ears it could be mustard or sesame oil this will not only keep the problems at bay but also you would notice ear wax coming off easily this follows the principle that oil has the ability to attach with itself dirt particles level 2 if you swim regularly or you often suffer from ear infections or ear pain or your ears are often exposed to loud noises you should do karna prati saranam using garlic oil most ear infections are viral and thus remain untreated by antibiotics that's where garlic oil which is known for its antibacterial and antiviral effects is so useful to make it in a pan take about 50 ml of cold pressed sesame oil to this put two cloves of garlic peeled from its bulb and skin then pounded on a non porous surface in the oil let them cook on low flame until garlic turns brownish strain off the garlic and let the oil cool down to a warm temperature recheck the temperature of the oil before putting it in the ears now dip cotton or gauze in the oil and apply to the first centimeter of the ear opening keep the oil handy for future use and every time before using place the bottle in hot water to warm it up doing this before bedtime at night two to three times a week is sufficient level 3 level 3 is for the one who is suffering from major problems not just with the ear but also the related organs like neck brain and physiological imbalance karan puran is a time tested ancient ritual for reestablishing harmony in the ear karan is the sanskrit word for ear and puran means to fill the technique involves heating the oil and then cooling it to a warm temperature then pouring this warm clean pure cold pressed sesame oil into the outer ear canal and letting it absorb for about 15 minutes the oil is then cleaned off by sitting up and facing the other side so that the oil directly drains out and not into the sinuses pouring can be done using a gauze sterilized cotton or a clean spoon it is the best way to draw vata out of the ears in fact in certain cases bubbles start to emerge from the oil indicating excess air or vata karan puran has a deeply grounding effect and is recommended before sleeping it can be done once a month by anybody and more often for patients provided there is no tear in the eardrum and no problem of drainage of fluid from ear since it is an advanced practice it is generally advised in the presence of someone sometimes garlic oil or other medicated oils are also used as per the advice of ayurvedic practitioner even though modern medical science does not suggest oiling the ears ayurveda is firm that karan puran is effective in reversing the most serious of problems for best results before doing karan prati saranam and karan puran it is advised to gently massage your ears apart from oiling the ears breathing exercises like bhramri and anulom vilom are amazing for the ear health sarvangasana and parvatasana help cure tinnitus just to recap apart from loud noise certain daily habits damage the ears be conscious and act if your body shows any of these signs take measures to improve the health of your ears ayurveda considers ear oiling to be the best practice to keep ear problems in check level 1 treatment can be done daily first clean dry the ears with cotton and apply cold pressed oil with fingers level 2 that is karan prati saranam can be done 2 to 3 times a week apply warm garlic oil in each of your ears level 3 that is karan puran is an advanced practice to be done once a month or as suggested by an ayurvedic practitioner fill each ear cavity with warm clean pure sesame oil and let it absorb for 15 minutes ears are not just for the hearing their health impacts other organs as well so it's time we start listening to them found this video helpful if yes then please give a big thumbs up if you are looking for a special ayurvedic oil for your hair then true hair oil is a good option i say special because true hair comes with a true heater of course we all know that if we apply warm oil on the scalp it works much better although we often feel lazy to warm it and if it gets too hot then it again is a problem its solution is true hair oil that comes with true heater it heats the oil until 65 
degrees and then automatically turns off. It takes about 4 minutes and you get a clear signal as the light flashes off. This is an intelligent product using which you can get the benefit of 13 Ayurvedic herbs without any hassle. And it's pocket friendly as well. To buy it, click on the link down in the description box. Through that link, you will get 20% off. So friends, that's all for this video. You can now support my work by clicking on the join button below. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. You can also follow me on Instagram. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.